I am so glad that you could join us this morning. Caught me off guard. Hey, I'm using the OBS encoder uh, since Hangouts is leaving at the end of this month. So I'm having to learn how to use it. So I didn't know I was live. So you have to, to forgive me. I sit there looking like I'm looking into space, like I'm stoned or something. No, I'm just naturally like that. Well, I'm glad you could join us here on this um, 13th of July. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. This is my birthday month, so I'm having a lot of fun. Got lots of pictures to show you today. I'd like uh, a few shout outs before I get started. Uh, Art Alien TV, Mr. White in the UK. Um, appreciate all that you do. Some really good pictures of the moon and Mars. Mostly Mars, but he has a lot of artwork. Just go to his website. Uh, he is Space Detective also on uh, YouTube. So make sure you join him. Yeah, YouTube and Google has been messing with him also. Hello to Darla. She's a sweetheart. My Skies 5D. Pippi Le Pew. Um, let's see. Savage XD. Orbs Rim. Brendan. Hello, bud. In the UK. And of course, um, so where is this at? Um, let's see if I can find this. Um, Stephen Criddle. It's proper paranormal. I know that I had some stuff written out, but he went to uh, the the summer solstice solstice at the uh, Stonehenge, and he has captured so many things. It's so cool what he has captured, and uh, I mean he's got entities. He's got Merkabas. Um, he's just got everything. You ought to check it out. Hey, we have 809 subscribers to go. We have 191 subscribers. So I sure do appreciate everybody that subscribed. Uh, we got a lot of new ones. Uh, okay, I'm all scattered brain here. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share. It helps. Click the notification button, the notify button. You got to hit it and make sure that you you can personalize it or you can make it for all and you can make mine for all because i only have one video a week right now so i won't bother you too much uh susan allison lisa oates hello uh let's see here show me the light christian and anthony we've been talking a lot on the uh on the comment section and uh they're, they're really two good guys they never sleep so I don't understand what's going on there. <laughs> I guess it's just youth. I used to be like that also. But they're coming up with some really good stuff. They have the Huff uh, box that uh, helps out a little bit with the spirits to communicate with them. Okay, is that everybody? If I miss somebody. Oh, yeah, Cult UFO on Twitter. It's a clothing store for UFOs. It's really cool. And East Eddie Ranch, of course, James Gillian. Man, he he gets bombarded. He gets hit so hard. I mean, it just rolls off of him like a duck now. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Hello to Crystal down in Calera, Alabama, with uh, her husband, Chris. Um, we're praying for you, Crystal. That's for sure. She's got a couple of health issues, but... It's my daughter, so make sure you pray for her in your meditation time. I appreciate it. At uh, the, the cliffs, cliffs in uh, Rhode, Rhode Island. Island. And, and um, this is where the, the dark, dark Shadows, Shadows house is. is. They, they were out, out there swimming. swimming. They, they swam all the way over there. I wanted to, but my wife wouldn't let, let me. I, I guess, guess if my daughter, daughter would have been with me, <laughs> she would have let me. And that's a little close up. up. They were having a ball out there, and it was foggy, it was spooky, it was really cool. Okay, let's get started with my stuff here, in my backyard. Here's an orb that I caught, big old orb right here. Check it out. 
Man, you can see the entities in this one right here. I don't know what this is. This is a Merkaba is what I'm going to call them. See the energy coming off of this? You cannot see this with your naked eye, the human eye. Uh, sometimes you can. I don't know if that's because we get more spiritual, our higher self, or they want us to see them. I don't know, but if you have an IR camera, you can see a lot. See right here? This is a little entity here. But you can see this, the eyes right here, the nose, the mouth. You got a little beard going right there. And a lot of uh, hieroglyphs, I guess, is what you call them. Um, I saw that, you know, some of it is like um, ancient astrology symbols or something. It's really wild. Of course, I do a clearing. I get all the malevolent entities out. I use First John 414, and if you know me, you know I do that. Okay. Here we go. I don't want to keep you too long. This, uh, like I always do, I always have all these pictures, and I have so many of them. I want to show you all that I catch because I catch so many more. I try to pick out the best ones, but like I want to show you right here, this one right here, it looks like it's got it's some kind of wolf in it or some kind of canine right here. And it's not all the way in this dimension, and that's why they show up like this. You know, it's halfway in, halfway out, something like that. But I wanted to show you that one. And same here on this one. Way up here. This is very high. It's so pixelized you can't see what's in it. But look at this. You can almost see there's some kind of entity animal. You can see the nose, the snout, and the two eyes right there. Yeah, you know, that's, that's well defined there. So I wanted to show that one. Get that one out of the way. Okay, that's good, Dave. Let's see. Oop, went too far. Man, I'm, I'm so used to double clicking. And uh, this is something in the tree. It's always something in these trees right here. And I can't really make it out, but it's some kind of a nature spirit or a little ship or it could be an orb that's on its way. It's traveling. These things really move fast. I mean, very, very fast. And you can see the energy coming off of this sucker. You know, you think you could see that with your naked eye with all that energy, but they're just in another dimension. And a couple elementals there. You've seen those before. It could be some camera artifact, you know. I can understand that, you know. I mean, I'm not an expert, but I'm getting there. And here's another one that looks just like that, what was in the tree. And I don't know if these are Merkabas that are traveling or it's some kind of fairy. You know, I never thought fairies <laughs> existed. And, you know, I said, man, I'm not going to tell everybody that I, this is a fairy. It's a bug, isn't it? But you know something? Once you see them, you know they're there. Why lie? You can call me crazy if you want to, okay? And here's one that st sits right here a lot. I catch it a lot if you've uh, followed some of my videos. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice again. Anyway, uh, it sits like in the tree. You know, it's just like it's sitting there and it's resting. Like this is a sanctuary for benevolent entities and benevolent uh, extraterrestrials that are traveling. Um, <clears throat> the hotel backyard ufologist. <laughs> but anyway, they're paying the rent by showing their stuff to me, so that's pretty cool. But you can see there's a little entity in here. Uh, you really can't tell much. It's pixelized. This is a long way away. <clears throat> So, yeah, it's, it's really cool. Man, I love this stuff. I really do. And I just can't believe all that's out there that we can't see with our human eyes. And this one's pixelized, but I wanted to show you. It's trying to come in, or if it wants to come in, it will. You know, it's their choice. A couple of more here, or one right here. That's the fairy circle my wife made back in 2006 from quartz boulders or quartz boulders you know granite it has quartz in it okay here's one it's got a beard yeah these have been showing up here lately i don't know if it's the anunnaki or what and you can see there's one right here two eyes and the nose you can see them peeking in right there it's pixelized because it's so far away 
but you can see these little icons in here, these little symbols. So like I said, I've seen these, you know, like on the ancient astrology uh, scale. And it's really, really wild. I see things around it. I don't know if it's a stargate or what. The hieroglyphics, you know. Uh, I don't know if I said that correctly or not. But, you know, the Egyptian symbols. I see that a lot also. So I think there's something to that. All righty. Here we go. And this is in the same, the same place, place just, just right, right afterwards, afterwards and, and you can see it's a little more well-defined well there. Okay. Okay. Okay, what am I doing? Okay. okay. And, and here's, here's some up here, you know, I, I catch these and I said, I'm not even going to look at this, this you know, because it's just so far away. away. But, you know, I do, I just wanted to show you what's out here. You can see these things are flying. Okay, I hit the wrong button there. I need an engineer, big time. Uh, somebody to run the controls. I try to get my wife to. She goes, no, ain't happening. I guess if we start making some money, she'll do it, huh? <laughs> I'll have to pay her. Okay. Oh, she's making my smoothie right now. She does not want to be on camera. It's funny. I'm going to catch her one day. And here's one. Look at this. Now, this looks like, you know, it could be a bug. But, you know, just one. Just one flying. Look at this. What is that? What do you think that is? It's got wings. I think that's a fairy. I really do. I'm going to say it looks like a little Starship Enterprise right there, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. You know, like I said, maybe we are the giant. Uh -huh. The land of the giants. I'm telling my age. If you remember that TV program. And here it is again. You know, these are one run after another I catch. And you can see that's just like a glob. I've seen this land on the rocks and then come up and start uh, flying. It's wild. You know, this is really weird. It looks like a mouth right there and an eye. It almost kind of looks like it's alive. A live Merkaba, like it's got teeth. But that could just be an optical illusion, you know. But it's something there. Keep hitting this microphone. I don't know why. And here is the fairy circle. Right here is the little globe down here that my wife put out. And this is the bird feeders here and chimes. Um, let's see. Is this, yeah, I wanted to show you. That these are in the trees. These are like nature spirits or something. But you can see there's something inside. You know, as we go along, and it may be take a while, but, you know, we've got 191 subscribers now. All we need is 809 more, and we will get there. We're going to get there. And we start making a little money, earning a little money, you know, honestly, and uh, good things will happen. I meditate on it a lot, and I hope that you will also. We see these a lot also. These are some kind of worms. I don't know. Uh, one of the uh, shuttle astronauts saw this up there but on a larger scale and I do see these a lot so there it's some kind of entity I don't know you know there's all kind of stuff there in the backyard and so here's another one right here that I caught it'd be right above us on the deck and that's kind of weird right there it almost looks like a rib yeah that's that's wow it I think it's an orb and it's moving and look at all the energy around that sucker. See that pink in there? The hue? You know, that's a sign of the Palladians. Uh, the, the, um, the feline beings also. And I get that from James Gillian. He tells all about that stuff. And I'm learning too. And, and, and they're coming. You know, they're here. Some more that you can't really tell, but you can see they're they're trying to come in, or they're just coming in, and they're in the trees, just hanging out. And now this was a good one. Um, I don't know what that is, but you can see this that icon, that symbol again, 
and I see that on the walls in uh, Egypt that they show on ancient aliens and other programs. And I, I said, wow, what is this? You know, I haven't seen these colors like this before. <clears throat> so you can tell I'm losing my voice. I'm on medication for my blood pressure, and it's some kind of ACE inhibitor, and it gives you a dry cough. And I think I've strained my vocal cords. I see the doctor next week. So we're going to have to adjust this stuff, man. Uh, I tell you, because I, I can't have my voice going out. And I get excited. I start talking loud. My wife says I do that a lot. So I, I try to keep calm and use my OFM voice I used to have when I was on the radio. You know? So <laughs> very electric. Very electric. Yes. Um... I don't know what this is but it is some twins right here and it's something traveling together isn't that something then I think uh, it's in the next picture also yeah I, I barely caught them right here they, they're, they're, as, as you, you can, can see, see they're, they're moving, moving. So bring it over here. yeah, yeah see? see yeah, yeah see, see these, these things, things are moving, moving. And, and they've, they've merged, merged together, together now, now and they're, they're on, on their, their way. way. Look, Look at, at the, the glow, glow and the energy, energy the feel that's, that's around this thing. thing. You, you know, know don't, don't tell me, me you know, know somebody, somebody says that's, that's water droplets. droplets. You know, you know I, I, understand I understand what you're, what you're saying. saying. You know, you know there, there are water droplets and, and, and dust and ether stuff that may they look, look like, like orange, but when they fly around, they travel like this and they have that field around them. You know, Come on. Come on, you know, wake, wake up. up. Yeah, yeah there's some similar, similar, but it's not. not. This, this is trying, trying to get, get pretty, pretty close, close here. here. Too, Too bad, bad I can't see exactly, exactly what's in here. here. You, you know, know, as, as we, we go, go along and start earning money, money I'm, I'm, I'm putting, putting all my money, money that I get in the software and, and equipment. equipment. You just don't understand what's going on. Maybe you do, but it's all out of pocket, and I don't have a whole lot of money. So I'm doing the best I can with what I have. And, and you can, you can see, see this, this is some kind of another, another animal. animal. See, see the, the nose? nose? I, mean, I mean, it's, it's just undeniable. And we've, we've seen this before. If you've joined the past. past. And, and I don't know, know what this is. is. Look, Look at this. this. Isn't, Isn't that cool? cool? I, and, 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 you know, that's, that's something. something. It almost looks like, is that a screw? You know, I don't know. I don't know. But it's something. Tell me what you think it is. And, and if, if you're, you're on the, the uh, I'm sorry, sorry about, about this internet, internet connection. connection, I can, I can see, see that it's buffering. buffering. Um, I, don't I don't know, know what's, what's going, going on with that. that. Um, I, I may have, have to, to leave. There, I, I think, think they're, they're switching, switching over, over to 5G, 5G where, where, I where I am, and, and maybe, maybe it's, it's only temporary, temporary and maybe, maybe it'll, it'll start, start working real good. So we're going to give them a chance. But you can see this is a a dog. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. And I don't know what this is right here. I wish I could really manipulate this a little more. That's a little better. See that? I don't know. It's a trip, whatever that is. Yeah, it's no telling what's going to show up in the backyard, I'm going to tell you, because I've seen, you know, we've had a couple of, uh, well, more than one. We've had about four extraterrestrials up here, which is really cool. Yeah, okay. And this is right. You can see right here, there's something here. It's like a portal opened. And I did catch a couple of these, and I'm going to show them. It, they're, they're coming up. But I don't know. It, this was the same one, I think. But there is something that opens up right around here. It flashes, and then that comes through. Something comes through. And like I said, these portals, vortexes, gates, um, wormholes, whatever you want to call it, are protected by the Christ conscience benevolent entities, the Christ conscience ascended masters. I ask them to come. We do a clearing. And I do a clearing sometimes. Most of the time, four times a day. And I'm going to tell you, there's crap going on right now that's just so crazy. I mean, you can feel it. It's like you're bombarded, you know, and you get these negativity sh crap that happens. I mean, you know, it's anger, 
emotions, depression, they, they want to come on you. I said, what is going on, you know? And I can do some really good heavy meditation and prayer and really ask for protection. And I can feel the lift actually feel it and I'm okay I go wow I start feeling bad and stuff and and angry about something you know if I drop my coffee on the floor or something you know something where you say oh man what did this have to happen for and you say well why am I angry man don't be angry you know this is life this happens expect it you know I wished I could get there all the way I guess that's enlightenment but yeah there, there's a lot of this going on uh, when your equipment starts malfunctioning, James Gillian, it happens to him at East City Ranch. You have everything working, everything's working fine. He goes on the air and everything goes to shit. <laughs> it is just, well, and here it is. Uh, I think it was last week. They just went off the air completely. And uh, they had to, I think, do a rebroadcast. Or they had taped it and, and reposted it. But yeah, you know, that's across the United States, so uh, it's real easy to mess with it, you know. Um, it has to go through so many backbones, and uh, one person can really mess it up for them if they want to. And, and a lot of that's going on, but I'm going to tell you, all of this censorship in America with these private companies... You know, that's going to stop. Yeah, you know, I stop and I, I listen. You know, I don't want to get into politics, okay? But I'm going to say this real fast. I think they want us to be a communist country now. They want to disarm us. They want us to shut up. And all of the mainstream medias, except Fox News, which tries to tell a lot of the truth, a couple of the people there, I've noticed, uh... They're coming over to social media now because their ratings are in the crapper. And they're trying to take over. And they come in with the big bucks, you know. And they're going to do what they say to do. And it's a spiritual war, what it comes down to. It's dark versus light. And uh, you got these people wanting you to have free stuff. Let me tell you, I've been around 59 years. There's nothing free. And you're going to have to work for it. You know, they can fool you until they get what they want and then once you realize that you're screwed don't let your hate for one person blind you don't destroy the whole country with hate for one person okay that's all i wanted to say because there's a lot of censorship going on it's even happening to me because i say something like that like i just said you know that sucks you know, where am I coming from? I was a, a Boy Scout, you know, in the 60s, and a Cub Scout, and, you know, America meant a lot to us, and it still does, you know, but when they start taking the prayer out of schools, you know, and they want to do this, they want to do that, and you can tell, you know people buy their fruits, and if you were raised like I was raised, now, I'm talking about many years of Southern Baptist. I had to adjust myself from that, you know. I'm spirituality. I'm spiritual. I am not religious. That's man-made. And man, things changed. And uh, I start, I have a great relationship with my higher power. So it's really cool. All right. Okay, I won't say any more about that but you know people buy the fruits and you know sometimes the truth hurts but it will set you free and some of the people don't want to hear the truth because they have an agenda and I think they have to do it because they've signed a contract to do all of this you know I said can they be this stupid can they really be this stupid to be up there talking like that and I go no they have to do it you know they know they're being stupid and saying stupid things you know they want to get their 15 minutes and plus you know i think they have to do it because they've signed their life away that's a shame i'd never do that i would live in a tent and that's what we see a lot of people living in tents before i would you know do that but anyway this is some kind of entity here this looks more like uh i don't know it looks like an animal but human also so a lot of people say, well, that's your Nephilim there. They, no, 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 no. You know, it's probably extraterrestrial. 
you know okay i don't know so i use first john 414 and it's universal law they have to go i don't want them around i don't want the negativity around i don't want the demons around the malevolent entities and let the um, christ conscience um, ascended masters come down with unconditional love and forgiveness and gather them all up and take them to their perfect place and it you know i just keep doing that over and over it's just a process okay let's go ahead and go now this was really i guess early in the morning almost around 5 a.m when it starts getting light here and you know, I, I added these because I wanted to show you this is an IR camera and that's how I am catching some of these entities here and you really can't see what's in these but you can see right there that is a person or something two eyes, nose, it looks like the last one we just looked at so some of these come in <clears throat> and they have uh, they all look alike and they're I guess they're traveling together you know and that's what they're doing and there's something there you know it's all kind of stuff in the skies that you can catch with your IR that's really there and uh, who knows maybe one day science and technology will come out with better stuff okay this is my iPhone I believe yeah the iPhone pictures that I have uh, collected uh, some of them are new, some of them are kind of old, but not very old, just a couple of weeks old. But anyway, um, you know, you take the picture and it's a live picture and you get about a second or two of uh, video. Well, this is what I did. I tried to catch it. Now I wanted to show you what I see out there. Here we go. Look at this. I slowed it down. Look at these things move. You see how fast that was? I mean, it's really fast. It happens so fast. These things are traveling like, you know, the speed of light. Did you see it just go into another dimension right there at the end? See right here? And then, zoom, it's gone. Okay, here's another one. Is this the same one? Yeah, I think it is. That was a little bit slower, I think. I'm still learning how to use this. Okay, now I don't know what this is. I don't even think I did anything with it. I think I kept it like this. That's the light, the big light that's the backyard light. It's in the yard. And yeah, I went, yeah, I did this because I saw this. Look at this. Now I've seen this on TV before. It's like uh, the Black Panther or something. You know, it's like a a logo or something but look there it is in my backyard it's real look how bright this thing is that's something there that's an entity and that's something another iPhone picture check it out okay what am I saying here uh, Okay, I don't know. There's something that I captured. Uh, yeah, they're really showing themselves to me now. And you know, I thought I saw that, but I wasn't quite sure, so I don't know. Okay, here's another one. Check it out. Whoa! You see how fast these things go? And that's just the really fast flash live picture from my iPhone. Let's do it one more day goes by really fast and people are going to say well Dave these are bugs or what you're seeing I don't think so see it, it comes, comes in, in from, from the, the dimension. dimension see it right there and boom it comes out and it flies around here in this dimension and you can see it and you see like I said right here see these little things these are vortexes that are opening in the backyard okay here we go Here's another one. It's the same, same one. Yeah. Okay. I, I slowed, slowed it down, down a little bit down. more. Wow. Did, did you see, see that, that one at the end? end? It, it just went. went. So we're right there. On the right. Boom. Look at that. It's coming and it goes boom right into another dimension. Now these are going about the, the speed of light, I think. I really do. Okay. There's a couple more that goes real fast. 
Now these are not bugs. These th these are going way too fast. You know, I, I'm just really barely catching them. And if you'll notice right at the first, there's a little red flash. I don't know if you saw that or not. I, I couldn't catch it. I, I would, it was like I could see it, but I couldn't see it. And I, I knew I wasn't going to get on this subject because I said it's just too damn fast. But anyway, there was a flash, a little flash. I see a lot of flashes here lately. I don't know what they are. Okay, did, is this the same one? This is another one. Right. Uh, this slowed it down a little more. Okay, here's another one. Did you see that little flash right there? Yeah, look at that one. Whoa, that was an orb that just flew by. I think that might be it, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Let's go right here. Did you see that? That flash? Boom! There it goes. Flash. Boom. There it is, right there. See it? Yeah. Going to town, man. Here's another one. Did you see that flash right there? Yeah, you saw it. I saw it. Boom. Mm. Yeah. And that's be it was still on zero. Look at that. Let's see if I can catch that. No, I can't. And it's hard to catch. There, yeah, that was it. You could see it. But did you see all of that going around out there? Look at that. There it is. Now these are acting like rods. And maybe they are orbs. I don't know. You know, maybe they are. Okay. There's the flash from the camera. And then you can see this go by. Whoa. It's wild. Okay, here we go. Flash, boom. Flash, boom. You, you can really see the flash right there on that one. Okay, what am I doing? All right. This took a long time to do also, I'm going to tell you. See, look at this. Do you see these vortexes opening and these things coming out? going really fast. Look at that. Mm, coming right in and out. See how they come right into this dimension? Man, that is something, isn't it? Can I do it? Yeah. And it's fast. It's like the, the speed of light. Hey, the chat's working, so if you'd like to say hello, please do. We appreciate it. This is my beautiful wife at the cliffs I wanted to show her tell her to get on here with me maybe I'll get some ratings huh? get some subscribers <laughs> uh, but you can see this is uh, got a couple of the symbols in here and it is pixelized a little bit but you can see all of these entities in here yeah, there's a face right there with two eyes, nose, and a mouth. And here's one right here. It looks like a cat. See the two eyes? The ears right here? Here's your nose and mouth, okay? Look at that. That's a feline being right here. Two eyes. There's an ear. There's an ear. And this one showed up before. And here's one right here. This is more... It could be a cat. You can see all of these faces of feline beings... I said, that looks like a cat. Well, it is. And what are they doing here? Well, they're protectors. And I've said that before. The feline beings, if you can go back and look at some of the paintings, the old paintings that they had. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I have to have the window cracked a little bit for this air conditioner. It's portable, I have to put the... Uh, tube out so it's going to make a little noise sorry about that it's just too hot up here in the studio uh, very very hot around 85 degrees uh, and that's hot for up here that's for sure uh, anyway uh, the the feline beings they were like protectors and you can look at some of the pictures that they have painted in India and they're sitting on thrones with the emperor or the king or the person in charge and they're almost giants they're very tall well they were extraterrestrials and they came down to protect 
uh, there were protectors and uh, really cool you can really just research it yourself. James Gillian has them appear to him, and they've got pictures of it uh, at East Eddie Ranch. He's more well established and everything. I'm getting there, and I'm going to. And uh, we already have them uh, appearing here, as you can see on, on my past videos. I think the third one uh, uh, about three weeks ago. Yeah, or four weeks ago, about a month ago, somewhere around there. Anyway, yeah. There was a feline being in a space suit. You can see it just plain as day. I had people, some of my friends call me and say, Dog, hey, man, that, that's real. And I go, yeah, it's happening. Okay, here's another picture from the iPhone. You see that flash? And then, look at this. Whoo, man. They just, and that slow right there. Look at that. Look at how it goes. Boom! Gone! One more minute. Okay. Whoa. Well, you can you get the idea of what's going on out there. And this was something that was flying around the sun or in the sky, in the sunlight, and they do not want to be identified who took this picture but you can see that's some kind almost looks like a fish doesn't it almost looks like a shark a sky shark isn't that cool and here's some of the pictures that uh, I took and I just made a, a steel picture out of them you can see these rods right here you know what are they these are orbs, and this is what they look like when they're traveling. And you can see, these are not bugs. I mean, I, I, I grant you, there are bugs that do look like this, but not, they don't travel this straight. Look how straight this is. Come on. That's like a ruler. <laughs> Straighter than a ruler. you got to think about this stuff, you know? Say, well, well, wait a minute. You know, what are these things? Okay, okay, I, I think, think that, that might be, be uh, is, is that, that it? it? That's, yeah, that's it. But, but yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it's crazy, it's isn't it? These things that are, are going on out here in the backyard, for sure, for sure. Okay, let me bring my lovely self, good-looking self back up here. <laughs> Well, at least my wife thinks I am, and that's what counts, huh? All righty. I really get into this. It just, uh, I go into the zone, as I call it. And uh, I watch these, and before I know it, two hours have passed. I sure do appreciate everybody that's joined me and uh, participated. I didn't want to keep you real long. Cult UFO on Twitter. Of course, James Gillian over at East Eddie Ranch. Um, Zombie Apocalypse Cherokee 92, that's a mouthful, especially this early in the morning. Uh, Stephen Criddle, Proper Paranormal, thanks for everything. I enjoy talking to you guys over at the UK. It's too bad that it's such a, a time dis a difference. It's like six hours and we're having trouble hooking up, you know, to do a live show. It, it takes a little time to do that. He's Proper Paranormal, uh, Stephen Criddle. And Orbs Realm, Brendan, he has some really good stuff. Uh, show me the light, Christian and Anthony. Uh, they're really doing some really good work with the paranormal. And check them out. They're young. They're in, they got this motivation. And that's just really I love watching it. And they're on all the time. I said, guys, get a little rest. You know, they're going to be there. <laughs> I love you guys. I really do. And uh, Creatures in the Clouds. Creatures in the clouds, uh, they've been camping, she said, for, gosh, uh, I think a week now, two weeks, and they're intense, and she brings her, she says, I love camping, and I bring my flat screen TV, and I go, wow, that must be some kind of setup that they have, and a generator or whatever they have to power all that, but she's been looking at the clouds, and she's taking some video, and you should check out what she's captured, some really good stuff. And uh, I appreciate everybody that subscribed. I've uh, met some really new people and some cool people that have subscribed. 
and uh, I think we're going to have a great relationship. We've got to stick together through this. Uh, they don't want us to, to put this out for some reason. I don't know what they're scared of. You know, they demonetize, like, uh, what was it, the third phase of the moon. Those guys have been around since YouTube started, I think. And uh, they demonetized them. Tyler, it's Secure Team 10. and But, you know, they gave it back because of the people. The people came and they said, please put this guy back. You know, put these people back. They're not doing anything wrong. And, and what they accused them of was wrong anyway. Uh, but they did mess them up there. But anyway, we have um, 191 subscribers. We need 809 to start making or earning some money to put back into the channel uh, to have 1,000 subscribers plus 4,000 hours of viewing time in a 12-month period. You know, we're going to do it. So subscribe, like, comment, and share. It really helps me. It really does. Click that notify button, and you'll be notified when we have anything that comes up that we'll share with you. Okay, I sure do appreciate that. And if you really like what we're doing and want to help, you can make a donation. It would be appreciated. All the information is down below in the description box, and we do appreciate it very much. But that's it for today. Uh, I've got more pictures. I've got so many. So maybe I'll start doing a second show too. Uh, you know, Friday and Saturday nights. We'll see how that goes. The encoder's working. Uh, Hangouts is going to be gone. I don't know how I'm going to put people here and do some interviews, but I'm going to study it and we'll see. Um, you like my new Spider Man? <laughs> Yeah, I had to have that when I saw it. <laughs> but anyway, I'm a t-shirt nut, that's for sure. And that's why I'm going to Cult UFO and, and buy some of my t-shirts and artwork there for sure. I sure do appreciate it. But anyway, uh, see how I just ramble on. But anyway, thanks so much for joining us and, and supporting us. It means a lot. We really want to make this channel grow and uh, start bringing you what's out there. I mean, it's probably in your backyard also. So it's a lot of fun, and it's uh, scary, but uh, it's very serious because there is a spiritual war going on right now. So make sure you remember me in your meditation time. I remember you, and I do appreciate everybody. I'll talk to you next week or maybe sooner. This is David, the Backyard Geopologist, saying have a great weekend. Thanks for joining, everybody. We'll check you back here next week. Bye-bye, everybody.